Hey yogis, it's Sina here, the Yoga Apothecary. In today's flow, we continue our A to Z for well-being series. J stands for jovial. So grab a towel and some water and I'll meet you on the mat. Laughter is medicine. Did you know that laughing for just 15 seconds might add two days to your lifespan? And you can burn a calorie for every minute you laugh. No joke. Laughter is associated with better sleep quality, increase our circulation, can boost our immune system, reduce stress, and improves our memory and creativity. It helps release endorphins, which is our natural painkiller and laughter can mitigate depressive symptoms. So, tap into your laughter promoting sources, which can include yoga. Try not to take yourself too seriously during your practice. And when things don't go quite right, just laugh it off. And laughter is contagious, in a good way. So spread the love of laughter to others. And with that, we'll get started on our mats in Supta Baddha Konasana. As we begin in Supta Baddha Konasana, you'll want to come down to your back. And if it's not comfortable for you to be in Supta Baddha Konasana, you could just be in a restorative bridge pose, which is in this position. But if you're okay to do so, toes, the soles of the feet will touch, knees come wide as we come into the sacred space. This time for you and your practice. You can also take one hand to your belly, one to the heart. Just notice the quality of your breath, the quality of your inhale and exhale. Your eyes can be a soft gaze. You're welcome to shut them as we enter into this practice and begin to lengthen the breath. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Spread the ribs wide and open the mouth and release it. Another just like that, inhale, fill up, take in all the air you think you can, and then open the mouth, maybe you push it out. As we begin our ujjayi breath, our victorious breath, inhale through the nose, seal your lips, and exhale through the nose, creating a seashelly swirly sound in the back of your throat. Let's take this together. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Although we did not begin in a child's pose, Balasana is always available to you at any time in this practice. Place both hands on the hips. We're gonna begin still in our Supta Baddha Konasana. So if you need to come out of it for a moment or two. Just take your knees with your palms and bring them to touch and pause in a restorative bridge. But if you're comfortable, stay where you are. We'll be back there in a moment. Rewiden the knees, toes touch, arms are gonna come long above you. As we're gonna take some crunches in our Supta Baddha Konasana, if this is not comfortable for you and you want to bring your knees and toes to a bridge position, you're welcome to do so as well. Take an inhale to prepare and as you exhale, you're going to peel the shoulder blades off the mat, reaching the arms up and forward to eventually touch your toes. We're going to take this five times. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, we come up, touch the toes or to the mat and lower. Another breath in. Exhale, we come up. You also can inhale at the top. Exhale, lower. Inhale here. Exhale, this is three. Inhale, lower. Inhale at the bottom. This is four. We're gonna come back. And the last time up. Touch the mat or the toes and then come back down. From here, we're gonna take happy baby pose. 
as I've done often in class, um, try and tuck these knees to your underarms. You float the fingers and arms up and try not to touch the bottoms of the heels or soles. However, if you wish to do so, and that for you, then you can bring your hands to the soles of the feet or to your ankles or shins, whichever is comfortable. You're also welcome to rock softly from side to side. Pausing here for a full cycle of breath. And then from here, we're going to create an open V with the legs, keep them flexed. We're going to take five more crunches now in this position. Same movement with the arms, same movement with the breath, and digging that navel to spine. Take a breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. That was five. Bring the toes to touch, lower the feet down and pause. Maybe you widen the feet to the edges of the mat. Bring the arms forward and down. Let the knees come to center. Rewiden the feet, opening up the knees. Narrow your stance of your feet, cross the ankles. And begin to rock your way forward and back, making our way over into tabletop pose. I will meet you there. Stacking the knees under the hips, wrists come under the shoulders, neutral spine, flat back, crown is long. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds. Exhale, cat pose, create a C shape at the spine, relax the head and shoulders, push the mat away with the fingers. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds, maybe you soft bend your elbows. Exhale, cat pose, create a C shape at the spine, relax the head and shoulders. Start to sway the hips and shoulders in opposite directions and gaze can follow your shoulders. As we come back to our tabletop pose, and from here, extend the toes on the right leg long behind you. Shift forward and back with an inhale forward and exhale back. Inhale forward and exhale back. One more forward and exhale back. From here, leave the right foot planted. We're going to bring this left knee, tucking it towards our nose. Take an inhale, exhale, give it a tuck. Inhale, lower. From here, extend the right leg, long toes point down. Full spinal balance, left arm reaches, thumb to the sky, breath in. Exhale, lower the right foot and left hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, lower. Come back to tabletop pose. Sway the hips and shoulders in an opposite direction. Come back to tabletop pose. Extend the left leg long, toes stay rooted on the mat. We'll inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward and exhale back. As we inhale forward, lift the right knee and toes as you exhale. Inhale lower. Extend the left leg long. Toes point down, full spinal balance. Right arm reaches thumb to the sky, breath in. We exhale lower, this is one. Inhale lengthen. Exhale lower, this is two. Inhale lengthen. And exhale, lower, that was three. We come back to tabletop pose. Another opportunity for a cat and cow. From here, step the right leg back, step the left leg back. We come into plank pose. And from here, start to walk this right hand inside. 
Shift your weight so you're stacking your feet as we come into a side plank. Hold here, breath in, and as you exhale, start to hover this left arm underneath your right torso, the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back to plank pose. And then come back to downward dog. Our first downward dog of the practice. Start to pedal your dog, lifting one foot and then the other. Press the hands into the earth, especially through your thumb and the first finger. Spread the fingers wide. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Push the mat away. Come to a still down dog. And imagine dragging your heels to the back of the mat. And if you, if you could imagine widening the feet to the edges of the mat. Take another breath here. Your ears should line up with your biceps. We will move back to the plank pose as we come into side plank on the other side, taking the same movement again. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Pause here in bear pose. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Rise up on the balls of the toes and push the mat away with the hands. Inhale, ripple forward to our plank. Coming into the side plank now on the left side, stacking the feet. Inhale here. Exhale, we hover. Inhale here. Exhale, come under the torso. Inhale up. Last time, under the torso. Inhale up. We'll exhale back to plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, down dog. Woo, already firing up those core yogis. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look to the feet. Make your way back to the back, to the back of your mat as we come into a ragdoll forward fold. Feet are roughly hips distance apart. Relax the head and shoulders. Maybe your fingertips graze the earth. Maybe you hug your front body. Maybe you interlace your hands behind the back. Anything you need, soft bend your knees. Slowly begin to bring the big toes to touch. Leave a sliver of light between the heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the shins, shoulders at the height of the hips, gaze over the nose. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Upward salute. Knit the low ribs together. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. As we exhale, heart, hands can come to heart center. Samasthiti he. Set your intention for this practice. Maybe a soft gaze or you close your eyes. Taking the opportunity, like I just did, to laugh a little on your mat today. Open the eyes when you're ready. We'll travel to the top of our mat, taking a hamstring release walk and stretch called elephant walk. You may not have done this before. Release the arms to your side. Our goal is to take a small step forward such that your right foot comes just in front of your left foot and we'll continue to walk up to the top of the mat. But you slowly come down and either graze your fingertips on the earth or maybe more of your hand, you're going to tap it twice, is going to rest on the mat. Lift up, take another walk, again slightly off center, now left to right. 
give the floor a tap and you should notice a released feeling in the hamstring. We'll take it again and you take your time making our way to the top of the mat. Feeling like an elephant. At the top of our mat, we'll take a half lift. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Dig through those heels. Again, squeeze the glutes and thighs. As we exhale, we'll take a twist. So left hand comes forward, right hand comes back. Spread the fingers wide. Notice what's happening with the hips. Try and keep them squared to the front of your mat. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist it open. Now right arm forward, left arm back. Hip points to the front of the room. Inhale through center. Bring the hands to heart center as you hinge forward. Hinging at the hips, heart space comes down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, bend your knees, step back to plank pose. Our first cobra. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower the knees, thighs, chest comes to the earth. You're welcome to leave the hands outside by the ribs. Take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, baby cobra. Peel your heart space up. Roll your shoulder blades back. Draw the hands as if to the back of the mat. Press the tops of the feet to the earth. Exhale, lower. Take a breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna take this one more time. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees. This time, look forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Palms face one another. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. As you exhale, we'll twist it open. Leave those hip points square. We inhale through center. I gave it a clap. We twist it open. We inhale through center, making the hands through your heart intention and into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, bend the knees, step back to plank pose. Invitation for another cobra. You can also take a locust pose. Or if you wish to take a vinyasa knees or toes. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Hugging the elbows close to the side body. Shoulders above the elbows. Inhale, face, inhale upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a falling out breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Round through the shoulders. Wrists come under the shoulders. Knee to the nose. Inhale it up. We exhale, right knee to right elbow. Over to the left. Back to the right. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Lower the left knee and toes. We'll take a twist. Right hand reaches up. Left knee is to the earth. Left palm is rooted to the mat. And then from here, lower the right palm. Kick stand this left leg out and start to drag your right foot to the back of your mat. Reach your right hand up. And then from here, leave the right foot rooted for a moment. As you exhale, let this right arm reach forward. If you wish to take this further, we're gonna take an elbow knee tap three times. So inhale here, exhale tap. Inhale here, exhale tap. 
Inhale here. Exhale, tap it out. Come back to our tabletop or really a partial lunge motion from here. And then just step back to plank. And we're gonna move through either a cobra, locust, or take another vinyasa. Come back to the downward dog. Take a falling out breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, knee to nose, round through the shoulders. Wrists come under the shoulders. Inhale it up. As you exhale, we'll come to the left, right, left. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, we'll step the left foot in between the hands. Lower the right knee and toes. We'll take the twist. Plant the right palm. Reach the left fingertips to the sky. As you exhale, lower the left palm. Leave this right palm rooted and start to drag your left foot to the back of your mat as you kickstand the right leg out. You're welcome to pause here and simply move this left arm forward to the top of the mat. Or if you took the crunches on the other side, inhale, Exhale, tap one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, three. We come back forward on the mat. You'll step back to plank and move through a vinyasa. We come to downward dog and we're gonna drop to tabletop to give you a moment to grab some water and towel off. And then we'll continue with the practice. As we come into downward dog, inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. We exhale over to the right, left, Right, three-legged dog. As you exhale, we'll step the hand between the, not the hand, the feet, see, I'm already laughing, your foot between your hands. Take a soft bend of this left knee. We slowly rise. Arms come forward and up to our crescent lunge. Draw the right heel back. Tuck this left knee forward, right hip back, left hip pulls forward. Knit the low ribs together. Palms face one another, shoulder blades pull down. Take an inhale. Exhale, we open up to a warrior two pose. Right knee over right ankle. Root through the pinky edge of the left foot. Stack the skull, shoulders, core, and hips. One line of energy. Gaze over the right fingertips. Inhale. Star pose. Feet parallel facing my door or forward direction. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. Spread the fingers wide. Try and take the arch from the back. As you exhale, we're going to re-bend and shift and come into a side angle pose. So right fingertips come inside or outside the earth shin or thigh. Resisting on the arm and the arm resisting on the hand. Left fingertips can be to the front of the room or reaching for the clouds. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. Right leg straightens long. Right arm's gonna reach up and over, spreading ribs on the right side body. As we exhale, we start to tee the arm, sink the hip ever so slightly, and we come to a triangle pose. You're welcome to soft bend this right knee to avoid locking the knee. Right fingertips should resist on the leg as we aim to stack the shoulders. Left fingertips are reaching high. Breath here. As we exhale, we're gonna shift our weight forward, 
come to the earth and pause. Step the right leg back to plank and move through your options. As we come back to downward dog, you're welcome to take a falling out breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale, release. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. As we exhale, tap it left, right, left. Inhale it, three-legged dog. Exhale, we step the left foot in between the hands, soft bend the knee. As we come up for a crescent lunge. Woo. So tucking the right knee forward, drawing the left heel back. Again, right hip forward, left hip back. Knit the low ribs together, palms face one another, shoulder blades pull down. As we exhale, we'll open up to a warrior two pose. So now the left knee is over the left ankle. Root through the pinky edge of the right foot. Scissor the glutes and thighs. Imagine a block between the thighs. We'll gaze over the left fingertips. We inhale, star pose. Feet parallel, facing forward. Knit the low ribs together. Spread the fingers wide. We try and take the arch from the back. We exhale for side angle pose. Rebending the left knee. Opening up, aiming to stack shoulders. Having the arm resist on the leg and the leg on the arm. Right hand reaching high or to the front of your mat. From here, inhale, reverse trikonasana. Left arm's gonna reach up and over, straightening the left leg long. Right hand can reach to your thigh or low back. We exhale, starting to tee the arm, sink that hip. Exhale, triangle pose. You're welcome to soft bend again the front leg. Stacking shoulders, spreading ribs on the right side body. One more breath in. As you exhale, we'll come down to the mat and move through a vinyasa and meet in downward dog. Another opportunity for a falling out breath. Exhale, let it out. So we're going to repeat this standing series again and just add a twist and an invitation for a side plank at the end of the sequence. When you're ready, inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. Exhale, right, left, right. Inhale, three-legged dog. We exhale to a crescent lunge. Inhale, crescent. We exhale, open up, warrior two. We inhale, star pose. We exhale, extended side angle, or really side angle pose. Pause here. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. We exhale to a triangle pose. Pause here. Exhale, come to the mat, spin the heel, come to the twist. Start to walk the left fingertips forward as we move for side plank. Taking the tuck throughs we took before three times. Exhale, one, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, three, inhale. Come back to plank. Either move through a vinyasa or skip it to downward dog. You're always welcome to take a falling out breath. As we come to the other side, inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up, exhale left, right, left, three-legged dog. We exhale the left foot forward, bend the right knee, 
We come to our crescent lunge. Pause here. We exhale, open up our warrior two pose. We inhale, star. We exhale to a side angle pose. Pause here. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. We exhale, triangle. Breath in. We exhale, coming down, we take a twist. And then from here, we make our way to side plank. Stacking the feet. And then coming through the pass through. One. Two. Ooh, three. Exhale to plank. Come to down dog or take a vinyasa. Another falling out breath here. Awesome job. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. As you exhale, step the right foot outside the right palm. Lower your left knee and toes. Take a twist. Exhale, plant the right palm. Lift the left knee and toes. Step this left foot forward. We meet in a yogi squat. Pause here. Use your elbows to open up the thighs. Heels in, toes out. Knees widen, hands at heart center. Plant the palms, start to press your way up, leaving the palms rooted. Start to narrow your stance as we take a twisted forward fold. So right knee's going to bend, maybe the heel lifts. Left leg is straight. Tent out the right fingertips at the left, left corner of the mat. Left hand's gonna reach high for the sky. You're welcome to stay here. Or maybe you take a half bind with the left arm coming behind you. You're welcome to take a full bind if you feel open enough and that's been part of your practice. Or stay where you are. You're also welcome to grab a towel. This can help with the bind, if you have one near you, of course. Release the palms, plant them to the earth. Start to narrow your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sinking back on the heels. Hands are at heart center. Imagining two legs become one, spine is long. Squeezing, pulling to center. And exhale to a mountain pose. So from here, we're gonna take something a little atypical. And hopefully my microphone doesn't go all wonka do. But it may, but this is a day of laughter practice. So if it does, we'll just laugh it off. What we're going to do is called a get up. I'm going to do it three times, just like we've been doing some of our other moment, movements. You're welcome to watch me do one and then pause, come back into a line and do the two more with me. But essentially what we're going to do, and I'll come a little bit higher on the mat, is to um, come down to the, come down on your bottoms to the mat and we're going to swing our legs up and over and then use the momentum of the swing to bring them back down, push the feet into the earth and bring ourselves back up standing. So again, you may want to watch me do it and then come back to it. It is okay if you need to bend your knee to get yourself up, one knee perhaps to help get yourself up. And then if it's not for you, you can just bypass this and we'll pick back up with our other side. So again, enough said. I'm going to widen my stance. Arms going to come out and forward. And I'm just going to do three of them and meet you back.
One. Two. How are you doing? Three. How'd you do? Awesome. We're gonna narrow our stance and come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms and just step back to our downward dog as we'll come to the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, step this left foot outside the left palm. Lower your right knee and toes. We'll take the twist. We exhale, plant the palm. Lift this right knee and toes. We come into a Malasana Yogi squat. Holding here. Using the opportunity to widen the knees. Heels in, toes out. Again, hands are at heart center. And then from here, we're gonna take our twisted forward fold. So starting to narrow the stance, take a half lift. Exhale, fold into the twisted forward fold. So now the right leg is gonna straighten. You're lifting up on the balls of the left toes. And then we're now tenting the left hand at the right corner of the mat, right arm reaches. Maybe you take the half bind. Or you move into a full bind. Trying to stack those shoulders, opening up the ribs and chest. Breathe here. Exhale, release, replant the feet and palms. We'll inhale to chair pose. Pause here in chair. Weight back in the heels. Two legs become one, squeeze towards center. Inhale, mountain pose. Pause. You know where we're going. We're gonna do three of these get ups. And then you're welcome to take a vinyasa or go straight to down dog. Coming to the top of the mat. Ready when you are. One. Two. And three. Hands will come to heart center if you took that with me. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms, step back to plank. An option for a vinyasa. As we come to down dog, lower to the knees to tabletop pose, sit back on the heels. Time for a second water break. Grab some water towel off. It's a little warm in here. And then we'll come back to our mat to do some leg stretch and close out the practice. See you in a minute. So as we come back to our mat, you'll join me here at a seat on your mat. We're gonna widen our feet like a V. We've taken this a little bit earlier. Flex your feet. What we're gonna do is now call the pancake prep sit up, which is something that really helps with um, preparing for press, pike, press to pike or press up positions. And we're gonna essentially take a similar sit up movement we took in our Supta Baddha Konasana sit ups when we started this practice. Our goal is to leave the heels rooted on the earth, rooted on your mat, and to not necessarily bend the knees or lift the legs. If this is new to you and it's too hard to keep them straight now, totally okay, you can work towards that. We're gonna take five of these. If you wanna do more, you could do more. If you wanna do less, do less. So we're gonna come down, take a similar position we took already twice in this practice. We're gonna take this five times. And as you exhale, the goal again is to peel the shoulders, root the navel down, but as you will come up, continue coming up, your palms are gonna reach in front of you. And that's part of the pancake positioning right there. 
So enough said, inhale. Exhale, one. You might hear my hips pop, who knows? This is gonna be two. I'm almost 50 years old, you guys. Here comes three. Notice the heels, trying to keep them down. Four. Do you got one more in you? And five. Good job. Now the position of your legs to a staff pose. Take a moment here, lift the arms up, inhale. As we exhale, we come forward. Try not to arch the back. So it doesn't matter where your hands land. Mine are here at the shins, but they can also be higher towards your knees. There's no need to necessarily touch the toes at the expense of arching the back. One more breath in. And then exhale, slowly lower our way to the earth as we take a few moments for some leg stretches before we close out the practice. So initially I'm gonna bend my left foot, lift my right leg up, and I'm gonna come and reach behind the calf. So if it is comfortable for you to extend your left leg long, today I'm a little tight, I won't do that, but if you want to, you can extend or hover this left leg as you Slightly pull back this towards you. So again, I'm gonna leave my left. You may wish to join me as I take an inhale. And exhale, just giving this a pull. My right calf, leg, thigh. Especially that second toe towards my head. Breathe. As I, and from here, I'm gonna place my right palm to the ground as I tee it out, and I'm going to extend this leg, my left leg, and then just let this right leg drop, taking a twist over to the left side. If this is something you normally do with a strap, I probably should have said that before, you're welcome to Push pause, maybe rewind a little bit and use a strap. I'm foregoing that today. Come back up to center, pause here. I'm gonna place my right hand to the inside of the right thigh. Now my left hand is reaching to my left side. Actually place your hand outside the right thigh. And then just let the leg drop. Wherever it lands, it lands. Again, my left leg is extended, foot is flexed kind of holding this right leg hovering off the earth. Some of you may be flexible enough to have your hand lower to the shin, maybe even your foot. And again, if you have a strap, that helps you deepen the stretch. Push this right leg up, return it to the earth for the other side. Now this left leg is gonna come up, foot is flexed and reaching behind the calf. Take an inhale and exhale. I'm just gonna give it a small pull towards my chest, toes to nose. Now I begin to extend this right leg. I'm gonna release my left to the ground and let this right leg come over, falling to my right side, using some support with the wrist, sorry, the palm on my right hand. My foot is flexed. I'm gonna give it a push towards center. Leave the right leg rooted. Position my right hand to the earth, taking my left to the shin near thigh. I'm not sure I have enough room. I do. I'm gonna let this left leg drop with the support of my hand. Again, you may be using a strap. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel taller after I do a leg stretch. Bring it back to center, reposition, and I get that sensation right now, feeling that. I'm positioning the legs in a bridge pose. We're just gonna take two rounds of a soft bridge using the arms again. So 
Initially, bring them to your sides. Think airplane arms, palms face down. Root through the three corners of each foot. And from here, take an inhale. We'll take a soft bridge with our exhale, lifting the hips, peeling the hard space up, spinning it to the back of the room. And notice my arms are now reaching above my head. Take an inhale at the top. Exhale, we come down the way we came in for one more inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we come up. Arms are reaching above the head. Stay here. Bring the arms down. Interlace them underneath the back. Come up on the balls of the shoulders. Pausing here. Squeeze and pulse the thighs as if they could touch for five, four, three, two, and one. Open up the palms to the mat, coming out the way you came in. Bring the knees to your chest. Start to rock from side to side. We'll come back to the happy baby we took at the beginning of class. This time, see if you can go without your hands. Baby, you already have, but again, the knees are pulling towards the underarms. Maybe you continue to rock from side to side. One full cycle of breath here. Then bring the knees to the chest. Reach the arms to the shins or the bottom of the feet. Hugging and completing using every muscle just for three, two, and one. And then release it to your Shavasana for you have worked so hard. Splay out the heels and toes. Release the shins, your knees, the thighs. Root the hip points to the mat. Release the core and chest. Shoulders, roll them to the mat, to the back. Release the forearms. Palms are open to receive. And release the face. Your chin, cheeks, eyes, brow, and the sweet top of your head. Notice the support that is under you, around you, and within you. Shavasana. Notice what it feels like to be in your body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe you touch each finger to your thumb. And slowly begin to draw your toes to touch and reach the arms above your head to take a good morning wake up stretch. Inhale through your nose. Send the breath as if to your toes. And as you exhale, slowly begin to bring your knees towards your chest and softly rock from side to side. And then make your way over to your right side using your right arm as a pillow and pause here on the mat. Pause to thank yourself for coming to the mat to thank your body for what it just did for you during your practice. Laughter is the shortest distance between two people and can be music to the soul. When you're ready, slowly press your way up to an easy seat, 
Joining me at the top of our mat, we'll bring our hands to heart center to take one last falling out breath together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale the thumb to third eye center, center of intuition. We exhale, bow forward. The light in me honors the light in the yogis have joined for this practice, for I'm so forever grateful. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for this practice. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And hope you subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And sign up for the Wellbeing Elixir, our bi-monthly newsletter. And stay tuned for next week when we cover the letter K in the Wellbeing series A to Z. Namaste.